Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. How are you, my friends? Hi. Happy first Shaban, Mubarak. So when we came to London, we realized that the Christians celebrate Christmas before when it actually happens. They sometimes they also start to celebrate it at November. They start doing the preparations uh, at the schools, mm, uh, the houses, and everywhere. And the teachers teach about it even in November. So we thought that we could do the same. We asked our mum, but our mum told us that mm, we shouldn't copy mm, everyone because Allah doesn't like copying. We are decorating for Ramzan and Eid, but we will only not decorate, we also prepare ourselves. We have set some goals and we will share them to you so you can join us on our journey. But we will also ask you in our comments that have you achieved some of your goals, so you must. And we will also share some names of Allah that we know and then you will memorize them and we'll ask you how many you know and you and it's a challenge that have you achieved the goals or not and our goals are and this is our goal chart and this we use Mm, to normally set our goals and then we see how we go along the week. This is the space for our goals and this is what we do in the week. And this is where we write the names, our targets and the reward that mum will give us when we achieve these goals. And these goals are the ones that we will ask you to do. And we will memorize some duas and share them with you and ask you to memorize them as a challenge inshallah only one dua a day and then we will uh, memorize two more names every day of allah and we will write them and ask you to do them too as a challenge and but two names every day we and you will try to make um, razu twice a day and when you see the grown-ups doing the prayers but the younger kids who have just started to do pray they can at least do twice a day so our challenge for the yete kids and us is to do perform wazu twice a day and do prayers twice a day too at least two times a day. So we have to sleep early because we have to wake early to do sahri. To make it a habit to do sahri in Ramadan, we have to start it now. Today we're going to practice how to write a Rahman and Rahim and we also learn their meanings too. And we will tell their meanings to you so you can also memorize them. We are just learning to do calligraphy, so I have chosen this picture uh, form to help me because I can't write it really well. So I need just need a picture. We show you when we're done. Okay. Yeah. Are you done? No. Yeah, I'm done. Wanna show it to Baba? Okay. We have chosen these papers because they were, are only A4 papers and these papers are thick. So the paper won't be damaged or in the result be a chart day. We don't know how to write proper calligraphy. So we are just 
Jonas, and we don't know how to do a proper Urdu. And we are learning calligraphy, and we see how we have improved. Get an book yet in these two months. Rehan, my twin brother, has written Arrahman, and I have written the second name Arrahim, and his and the one that he has written Arrahman means the Lord of Mercy, and what I have wrote Arrahim means something very similar. It means the giver of mercy. These are the two names, Ar-Rahman, the Yod of Mercy, and Ar-Rahim, the giver of mercy, Ar-Rahman, and Ar-Rahim. Then the today's dua is, Bismillah al-Ladhi la yazurru masbihi shay'an fil ardi wa la fil sama wa huwa this to us name is the morning and evening prayer. And if you do it three times in the morning and three times in the evening, then Allah will promise you to protect you from the evil, such as Satan, also from all your monsters and from the accidents. You are in the protection of Allah, so which is such a beautiful dua. Tomorrow we come up with two names of Ayataya and one dua. So you have to memorize this dua. Say then, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Allah Hafiz.